we're ready to roll. Uh, we're not ready to roll, but we're as ready as we're going to be to roll. And uh, still uh, a bit more complex than I would like it to be at this time of the year. Uh, don't expect Zach Irvin to play this weekend at all. Uh, he is still, he's getting in shape, he's, he's healthy, uh, but he's uh, not in game shape right now. So we think we can do more with him off the court and, and, and then put, pushing him in there right now. So that is also day to day, that could change, but I'm, we're planning to play without him. Uh, other injuries, Spike is still trying like crazy. Still not the Spike that you've seen for years, but he'll be in there doing his best, playing spot minutes, and we'll try to build him up the best that we can. Uh, we had a couple of other little minor ankle issues with uh, DJ and Aubrey last week, and uh, they're getting better. Uh, and hopefully they'll be at 100%, but we'll know more once we have to today's practice and going forward. So uh, that being said, this Northern Michigan team, uh, you know, if anybody saw the score, you'd say, wow, the Michigan State killed them. It was two points at half, or yeah, I think it was two points at half. Uh, with Zach being out, Spike being out, it is an interesting matchup for us because they've played four guards and just attack. And they got really good outside shooters. And with the new foul rule, uh, that it can be a difficult thing for everyone. That they're going to call, uh, you know, any type of hand checking. And uh, in a foul shooting contest, uh, I don't like getting in foul shooting contests with other teams. Uh, anything could happen there. You can't control that. So it is. Uh, it's going to be. I, I, you look at the game. People probably thinks it's going to be. It's a, a Division Two guarantee game. It's going to be a challenge for us, is what I've seen from all their scouting reports and you know, in all the video. I watched two of their videos, and uh, uh, they really uh, they, they have a, a good team that I think will contend for a championship in the GLIAC. Let why don't you start us off? Uh, Coach, you say Zach's day to day. Does that mean there's no timetable or no? Time? No, there isn't really. I, went, I, I think when you get into these situations, I think he's got to come to you and say you're ready. I'll ask him, are you ready? I'm, we're not. Getting into that where, you know, he, he's not in with his mind yet. You know, when we test him from his um, vertical jumps and things like that from before the injury, there, he's not where, near where he was. But he is playing every day with us and practicing with us. And he's fully cleared. It's just right Yes, there. yeah. We're just going to make sure that he is, uh, really feels good about it going in and that uh, it makes the other, gives the other guys another opportunity. Chris, what's the concern with Spike? Is it conditioning or just getting used both, to his? Both conditioning and uh, the fact is just his his movement right now is not as uh, fluid as it's been. We, we all know that he's never been the, the quickest athlete, uh, but he is still, he's just still laboring in some areas to regain his, his flexibility, his, his lateral speed, all those things. Do you have an idea of what matchups or what combinations are working better for you now? Have you got that's that's the biggest issue right now. Is that that's probably uh, it's made it complex and it's made it uh, where usually at this time I, I've put my pretty good idea of who the five starters are, and I'm gonna have to start five guys because you got to start five guys. But no one's distinguished something. No one's been bad. Nobody's got out of it. But it's just putting it all together. Who plays where? Is Zach? When was Zach going to get ready? When is Spike going to be ready? It's made it more a little bit more difficult than we'd like it to be. But um, that's the, that's what that's what we're dealing with, and it gives us opportunity and time to grow. Have you made a decision yet on play or red shirt for Mo Wagner? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. But I do know if we put him in a game, and that could happen. Uh, Mo's Mo's got that the talent. That is, uh, he shows that he's getting better every day in practice, uh, and he's uh, it's very attractive to put him in there. So I, we may just put him in there tomorrow. He's had like three or four really good practices in a row, where if he's he keeps grading out the way he's been in practice, he will not register. Uh, if, if he if we see that the other guys are really playing well, he we will try to keep it as long as we can, and uh, but. The, the fact is, he's really improving every day. He's, but we're true, that one of the issues of one of the advantages of redshirt is not the fifth year; it's the intense weightlifting we can do with him. Whether it's the whole year, whether it's a month of redshirt, two months of redshirt, the intense weight training is what 
I like said, we have so many balls juggling right now with this team, and I, I wish I could say, hey, it's a veteran. It's a veteran team with a whole lot of things we still have to answer. And, and I think we're pretty good at this. We don't have the answers just yet.